Hey everyone, Mr. Tegmar here again. Uh, we're going to take a look at flowcharts and how to create flowcharts. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, really, we have to do flowcharts? Well, I'm not going to make you do flowcharts. However, they are. Uh, the, the more complex a program gets, the more you're going to want to do a flowchart. If you don't do a flowchart, you're at least going to have to do some pseudocode and plan what you're going to say, uh, plan what you're going to write. So here is a flowchart, uh, a flowchart of feeding your dog. And as you can see, there's always a start, there's always a stop, and then every whatever happens in between your start and stop is your program. So here, you're going to check your dog's bowl, you're going to make a decision, and then you're going to, if it's empty, you're going to pour some food in the bowl. And you're going to keep asking yourself, is it empty, is it empty, is it empty, as you pour, and then you're going to stop. And it's about as simple as it gets. Here's how I like to think of flowcharts. A flowchart is really just a pictorial of, like, a recipe or, or a set of instructions. Instead of having it in written form, step one, step two, oh, go back to step one if step two isn't done, and so on, it's a pictorial. I, for me, it's a lot easier to understand the program. Well, there are some basic shapes, and these aren't uh, an exhaustive list of all the different shapes, but they're pretty much all the ones that we're going to use. Everything has a start and an end, so it always has that oval shape. Um, and we're going to go over what each of these things mean, but you're going to have to know what all of these shapes are uh, to create a flowchart, and these will be on the quiz. So, as I mentioned, every program, every flowchart has a start and an end, or a start and a stop. The rectangle is for a process. So, um, you can add something, you can turn the motor on, it's uh, usually like an action. Think of an action or a verb. So it's something that happens. It's not a decision, it's rather something that happens, whether you're turning a motor on, turning a light on or off, so on. When you have a parallelogram, that's where you have an input or an output. You might be reading the, um, the light sensor or the sonar or a line follower, or you might be looking for checking for uh, whether a switch is depressed or not depressed, on or off. This is, here's where you're going to uh, have that input or output. A diamond or a rhombus, this is where you're going to have uh, a yes or no question. And it's always a yes or no. So you're going to have a decision. And this is where you have multiple paths. If it's yes, you're going to go one direction uh, and do the next step if the answer is yes. If it, the answer is no, then you're going to go another direction. At least that's what you're going to have to program. Arrows just tell you uh, where you're going in your next step. Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. So let's put together an example flowchart. If you have, uh, say the task is to count from 1 to 9 by odd numbers, I'm going to skip through this real quick here. Uh, so let's draw the flowchart. First block is always what? Yes, it is the start block. So our output is going to be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So we have the start. Program begins with the number 1. So that's really going to be our input. So we're going to input 1. And so now that we have that, then we have to say the number or output the number. Once we've done that, the next step is to add 2. But then, after we add 2, we have to do a check. Is the number that we have after we add 2, is it greater than 9? If it's yes, we go some we go to the end if it's no we have to go back and now that we've added the number we say the number again and add two and we just keep going until we're done and then we hit stop or end it doesn't matter what you put there same thing so you don't have to do this you don't have to create a flowchart you can if you want it's kind of like a uh, the dog 
food example at the beginning. So here's what you need to know. Need to know the shapes, need to know what they mean, and if I were you, I would maybe do this uh, flowchart with pouring a glass of milk. <laughs>